Good morning, fellow prayer warriors. Good morning. Wonderful to see you on this Thursday morning. I'm Deanne Miller. So nice to start the morning with you. I just look so forward to it. Thank you for being here. We will pray the fourth sorrowful mystery today, the carrying of the cross and a virtue I think we just need to be in perpetual prayer about uh, asking for the grace of the, the virtue of patience. And um, as I mentioned last week, maybe already this morning, you know, you've had to put this virtue, you've gotten, you've, ha you've had the opportunity to put this virtue into practice. And we'll pray throughout the day today for, um, you know, in Thanksgiving, for God's patience with us and in hopes that we can um, be patient with ourselves and with others, um, whatever this day has in store for us. I love the saying that, um, you know, I love this day. I've never seen it before. So <laughs> that's, how, that's how we're going to approach this day today. And um, in whatever ways we're called to be patient, we will be a yes like Mary. So I invite you to come into a comfortable seated position, placing your hands in prayer. If it feels comfortable to close your eyes, I invite you to do that and just soften, soften your heart, soften your body. Be, um, be willing to be a receiver of this beautiful gift and, and virtue of patience that God desires for us. Take a deep inhale, breathing deep into the abdominals, lower abdominals. And then exhaling. Again, inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the mouth. I invite you to take a moment to offer up this decade, this fourth star for mystery for any special intentions on your heart this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, we come to you with our hearts full of thanksgiving. As we journey through this beautiful season of Lent, and now in our fourth week of Lent, remembering the patience, your patience in your trials. We thank you, God, that we can come to you with all of our petitions, all of our intentions. We know that you hear them. We know that you answer them in your most perfect way. And we pray for the grace to be receiving, gracious receivers of the way that you reveal those answers as we wait for answers to our prayers and our needs. We ask the Holy Spirit to Fill our entire beings to be abundantly present, to guide us and lead us in all of our words and our ways, our deeds, our thoughts, that they would align with your will, God. We ask this, Jesus, in your name and always through the intercession of our most beautiful most patient blessed mother amen so either stay seated or come into a, a laying down position comfortable prostrate position here as we prepare to receive god's word as we meditate on this fourth sorrowful mystery the carrying of the cross as i mentioned the virtue of patience in colossians chapter 1 verse 11 we read May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy. You know, I don't know that joy always is part of our in, uh, endurance and patience, but this is, this, is the, this is God's command and this is his desire for us. And so if it's his desire for us, then we know it is possible. And I thought this morning, 
before we begin our movements, we could pray this litany of patience. And so silently from each um, line of the litany, the response is deliver me, oh Jesus. From the desire to control my life, deliver me, oh Jesus. From rash judgment and haste, deliver me, oh Jesus. From impulsive decision-making, deliver me, oh Jesus. From the desire to act when I need to be still, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire to speak when I need to stay silent, deliver me, oh Jesus. From the delusion that my own ideas and plans are what would be best, deliver me, O oh Jesus. From impatience with the sins and idiosyncrasies of others, deliver me, O oh Jesus. From the impatience with my own sins and slow growth in virtue, deliver me, O oh Jesus. From impatience with your plan for my life, deliver me, O oh Jesus. From the desire to live on my own timeline, deliver me, O oh Jesus. From the fear of running out of time, deliver me, O oh Jesus. From the fear of aging and death, deliver me, O oh Jesus. From the temptation to act out of sorrow, discouragement, anxiety, or fear, deliver me, O oh Jesus. Lord, Teach me to trust your love so entirely that I may wait upon your word before making important decisions, that I may not get ahead of or behind your spirit, that I may maintain an eternal perspective in all that I do, that I may accept and surrender to your will for me daily, that I may truly believe that all things work for the good of those who love you that I may radiate to others your peace and joy, which surpass all understanding. Amen. So as we come into our movements and, and our prayers, we take this litany with us, with patience in all these ways, and with thanksgiving. I invite you into a push-up position of your choice, modifying his desire today. We begin the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. I'm going to invite you into a seated position, and then we're going to lay on our backs. So this is really nice. For a nice stretcher, cross. Ankle across the opposite knee, and you're going to draw the knees towards you. You can hook the hands behind the thigh to create a little deeper stretch. So trying to, to root the top knee away from you as you're drawing the other knee in towards you, softening the upper body. Open the back of the throat here as you rest your head down, and we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Same thing on the other side, switching legs. Drawing that knee towards you, maybe hooking the hands behind, a little deeper stretch, breathing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We'll lower both feet down, flat onto the ground, Legs and knees isometrically drawing towards each other, but um, about a hip width apart. Using um, the back of the thighs, you're going to lift the hips. So here you want to draw the shoulder blades together, open up the heart. That, keeping the ribs knitted together so that they're not uh, popping forward or sinking. So a nice long line extending through the knees, holding, wrapping around the thighs, squeezing into the glutes and hold. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Now 
We'll say here, you can add a little pulse. Being patient, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Articulate down one vertebrae at a time. And then you're going to cross that ankle over the knee again, just as we began. This time lifting up with a single knee and hold. Squeezing into that glute, softening where you can, lengthen the fingertips, maybe rotating the palms upward. That posture of receptivity and offering. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Articulate down slowly, patiently. We'll switch to the other side, crossing the ankle over knee, lifting, activating the back body, breathing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. We get to articulate down one vertebrae at a time again. And let's draw one knee in towards the chest, extending the other leg long, really intentional. Holding here, drawing that knee in, feel that nice stretch, and then alternating. Breathing with each time you alternate, exhale and inhale. If you'd like, you can lift the body using abdominals and hold here. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Staying here, extend both legs. You're going to lift one leg to draw the heart closer to it, and then alternate. If you'd like to let, rest your shoulders down and head down, that's great, or even support your head with the hand. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Bending both knees, the hands come back gently, supported the head without pulling or forcing, using abdominals and curling up. And we're going to alternate opposite knee to opposite shoulder, breathing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Come back to center, lowering the feet down onto the mat. And this time, just a, a very simple curl, curling up, but reach the opposite arm to the outer knee of the opposite leg and come back through center, curl, activate the core and reach. Breathing with patience. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Resting the head and shoulders all the way down. Draw one knee in towards the chest. The other knee follows. Lower The lower back releases, offering opening in the upper body. Draw the knees in. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Then I invite you to extend the legs long, reach the arms up and overhead. And then just bring them back down by your side. Bending the knees, rolling to your side to come back either to a seated position or you can still stay resting if that feels better to you today. Take your time. All about patience today. Bring your hands in prayer. We thank you, God. For this time together, we thank you for your witness of patience to teach us how to live patiently, to be patient with, again, with ourselves and with others, 
And in the waiting, you know the needs of our heart, God. You know all that needs to be healed, all that needs to be renewed and restored. May we cooperate with your grace of patience in waiting. And may it be with joy. And I love what Bishop Barron says that he says, patience in prayer, you also have to pray with persistence. He says that sometimes one reason what, that we don't receive what we want through prayer is that we give up too easily. St. Augustine said that God sometimes delays in giving us what we want because he wants our hearts to expand. So as we head into this beautiful day and the days ahead, if, if patience is a little bit of a struggle, let us remember that it could very well be that God is expanding our hearts. And that is always, always a good thing. So we accept the patience with that trust, with that hope, with that joy. And we don't give up. We ask this Jesus in your name and always through our beautiful Blessed Mother's intercession. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you all. I am keeping you in prayer and I would humbly ask for your prayers as well. <laughs>